shoes are getting becoming caked with with mud, or um, your corduroy uh, uh, trousers are caked with dried banana. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> but um, but a lot of people, I think, choose to think uh, birthday cake. That's okay with us too. Birthday cake's okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's okay, but for me, it's not as good as mud. Right. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Mud. 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 And then. Um, I was going to talk a little bit a bit about uh, some of the instruments. Um, like, do you have a brand loyalty, or are you more stuck on like what for your guitar for your rhythm? What do you usually like to play with? Well, I use a uh, really a pretty unknown guitar, not a not a status guitar at all. Nobody has ever heard of it. It's called a Goya G O Y A. It's an old uh, classical guitar from the late sixties, um, and. It's not a particularly great guitar, but it's the sound that I want for this band. Um, I put a pickup in it and, and send it through a really pretty crappy little uh, guitar amp, and it, it sort of distorts and sounds really thin, and um, it's a sound that works with the rest of the sounds in the band. So I wouldn't recommend it for anyone else, um, just because it's, it's really not the nicest sound, um, but it's a... It sort of occupies a frequency range that no one else would want, and so I don't have to compete really uh, with any of the other um, uh, better sounding instruments. Right. Well, it definitely has a distinct sound, man. I must give you that. It's got that sharp tone to it, and I love it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I like it too, um, but I think it's an acquired taste. Okay. okay. For some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it sticks out, and. Yeah, I was just wondering, yeah, if you ever switched up a lot on your guitars and whatnot, and for like for for like the lead guitar, does he have like a? Um, I know with and he's uh, kind of new to the band, isn't he? Correct, just a couple of years now, or? Uh, well, actually, he's been in since two thousand, so it's like over ten years. Okay, so we're, okay, we're actually we have a pretty stable lineup lately. Okay, yeah, he's he he's killing it on those solos and stuff too, and I want to definitely give him a shout out. He's been killing ripping it still, and I love it. Yeah, yeah, he's he's like the, yeah, he's he's really holds it together. Yeah, he was a great, yeah, I love him. He's he's great for it. Um, and then let's see here, but yeah, going back, I guess to the album also, um, sick of you, huge radio hit. And I know we were talking about the album. You never thought it would blow up, but did you think that was going to be like the main big song? I mean, that's a crazy big hit. I can't tell you how big that is right now, man. Out here, yeah. Too. I mean, I didn't. I I honestly didn't think that would be the song. I I thought Mustache Man, but, um, but like when we sent the album out there, everyone wanted to play Sick of You, so we let them do what they wanted to do. That that was oh. the first CD we got by you guys in our studio was the Sick of You just a single off it and once I jammed it I was like where did this come from I was like this is awesome man but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so it's cool I mean I I think it's a it's a song that sort of accurately um, sort of uh, jibes with maybe the general feeling in the United States lately just uh, a lot of really angry people and seems to seems to make sense to people somehow so um you know whatever it takes we're glad to be of service yeah i love it man sick of you sick of me <laughs> sick of everything i love it yeah well that's the way it always ends up you can be sick of everything else for a while but eventually um if you're somebody that's getting sick of everything it's going to end up with you being sick of yourself eventually okay I mean that's what I've witnessed in my own life. Interesting. That's that's okay. That's yeah. Uh, need it's, to... it's just eventually you're going to aim the gun at your own head. I think. Right. Metaphorically speaking. Right. 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 Yeah. Metaphorically. Okay. Yeah. That's great little meaning in the song there. Um, sound like you got a couple kids in the background there, man. I'm sorry about that. No. Yeah, no. It's okay. It's, it's, I got a. <laughs> Maybe move to a different room. Oh no no no! Like, you're good. You're good. My don't... daughter is adamant about being heard right now. Hey, um, put her on the phone. She's she can going see... for it. She we uh, Kawhi gives her a big aloha. Yeah, I'm sure she'd rather be there. Um, she's uh, she's I don't know what what her deal is. She doesn't want to take a nap. Is what it is. Yeah, they're being the crankiness right now. They just want to do what they want to do, man. They rule the world in their own heads right now. Yeah, they're the new generation. New wave. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> new wave. Yeah. Uh, 
So have you been out to Hawaii recently at all? Oh, well, yeah, we were there last year or the year before. I can't remember, like not too long ago. Uh, we were um, in Honolulu. So you're on Oahu. Okay, yeah. I remember, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and, and uh, you know, I've been to Kauai and um, love it there. Uh, would, you know, love to play a show there um, sometime soon if, if we can. And uh, um, you guys are really lucky. Um, so I'm sure everyone tells you that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we would love to have you out here, man. We got some good venues, and I think you guys would rock it. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I will put a word in for it, because uh, that sounds great. That sounds fun. Oh, dude, it would be, I mean, because it's, it's a tight venue out here. It's a different type of energy from the mainland. Mm-hmm. And, man, I'll tell you, you're still, you guys are still legends, man. I know a lot of people that I talk to out here, and they're just like, yeah, man, KKK back in the day, yada, 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 and I think you guys would kill it. Cool. Well, let's let's try to get us back there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for you. Um, I got to say, dude. I didn't really know too much about the album, but I, I got to say one of my favorites is the rarities and B-sides. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, dude, I've been jamming it recently, and, dude, I got to say my favorite song is Thrills. Can you give yeah. me any background on that? Can you go into it? If not, I understand, but can you mention <laughs> anything? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I collect old vinyl, and I, I a lot of times I collect old, really old records, and of old preachers and things like that. And so that was just sort of, I sampled a bunch of stuff from old records and strung it together with the song. Okay, yeah. Because it, it's, just, it's just cool how it starts off, man. I just love how you got that like random guy speaking throughout it, and he's just uh-huh. like, a man is born, a man lives, a man dies, and it's all vanity. I think that's like that's my favorite song of the year right there, man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Even though it's so old, but dude, that it's classic. Yeah. Well, it's, that's cool because, you know, not too many people have said that they like that one, so I'm glad you noticed it, you know? Oh, hell yeah. Man. Dude, that's – I put that up. It's, I jam it on the sh- my show all the time, and I do the uh, Shagadelic show, and some, sometimes I've opened to it with it, and it's just it's just perfect, man. It's just, It says so much all in just the song, like you said, just in those couple lines. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I like what that guy had to say. Yeah, dude, that was – it was badass, dude. It was – that was I loved it. Awesome. <laughs> it, tr- 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 it trips me out every time listening to it. and that whole rare B sides. And uh, I got I had a friend. Uh, we were talking the other day, um, and I saw the video too. The lo- um, short skirt, long jacket, man. That that's another classic one that we all love. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> but that was a great one too, man. That video too that you guys did was brilliant. <laughs> oh, with uh, just uh, uh, asking people on the street and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whose idea was that? It was it. Uh... That, that was my idea. I was just trying to figure out a way for us to make a music video without having to make a music video, right? Um, without having to be like five guys lip syncing in an urban decay setting. You know, I just thought, oh God, isn't there something else we can do? Um, so that's what we came up with, and so I thought it was more interesting. Oh, it was very interesting. Yeah, it was. It was neat because you had everyone's like view on the song, and you know you did the positive and negative, which is kind of cool, and yeah. mostly positive. And but, uh, yeah, but negative, negative goes a long way. It's it it makes it exciting. Oh yeah, it can be constructive criticism. I mean, yeah, it can definitely go a long way. That's for sure. Yeah, I I enjoyed the negative. Yeah, well, that's good. Help you out with yeah, definitely. Yeah, give us tips. You know how to improve our sound. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, when people always criticize me at first, I'm like, God damn it. But then I'm like, well, maybe they're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, they're right. They can be right for them, and then maybe you like something different. That's the cool thing about music is that it's not math. It can be um, more than one person can be right. Right, right. Yeah, definitely. I'll, that's for sure. And um, I guess you guys got uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon coming up next for your Talk we show, actually or? just played Jimmy Fallon okay, a few weeks ago. Did Jimmy Fallon? Um, and I think uh, we're, we're playing Jimmy Kimmel uh, in a few days, like uh, in a week or so. That's cool, man. I look forward to that. That sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We're we're again like when we went independent with this record, we thought we'd be squashed like a bug, and I never thought we'd ever do any late night talk shows again. And we looks like looks like we still exist. Right. Yeah. Oh, definitely, man. And if you guys, uh, 
ever came out, I'd definitely put you on uh, the Shagadelic show with the Pharaoh, definitely. <laughs> All right. Get you guys some good public, you know, <clears throat> publicity once again, which you deserve. And um, if you could, yeah. And I want to say thanks so much, man, uh, for doing this interview. It means a lot to me, and it means a lot to my listeners and every everyone else. Well, thanks, thanks for your support. We appreciate it. This is an independent label, uh, label release for us, and and it's great that we're, you know, getting the support from people. So it means a lot. Oh yeah, definitely. And uh, if you could tell the band, I said, you know, good lucks to everyone. What you guys, I know you'll do fine just without it, but yeah, we all stand behind you. And we love the tunes, man. Well, thank you so much, sir.